another aircraft of some sort, airship, balloon, something was shot down today. Who owns it? What were the circumstances? Was the president directly involved in ordering this? Uh, and is wreckage being recovered? Well, or okay. So I'm going to try. Remind me if I forget something. Okay. Yes, the president absolutely was involved in this decision. He ordered it uh, at the recommendation of Pentagon leaders. Uh, he wanted it taken down, and they did that. They did it using fighter aircraft assigned to U.S. Northern Command. The Pentagon will have more to say about the details of this uh, later on this afternoon. It's only just within the last hour. Uh, we're calling this an object because that's the best description we have right now. Uh, we do not know who owns it, uh, whether it's a whether it's state owned or uh, or corporate owned or privately owned. We just don't know. Uh, we don't we don't know. As I said, state owned. We don't know if it's state owned, um, and we don't uh, understand the full purpose. We don't have any comp we don't have any information that would confirm a stated purpose for this object. Um, we do expect to be able to recover uh, the debris. Uh, since it fell not only within our territorial space, but on what we what we uh, believe is is frozen uh, water, so uh, it, uh, a recovery effort will be made, um, and uh, uh, we're hopeful that it'll be successful, and then we can learn a little bit more about it. Was its appearance like the Chinese aircraft? No, it was it, it was much much smaller than uh, the spy balloon that we took down last Saturday. Um, the way it was described to me was roughly the size of a small car, as opposed to uh, a payload that was like two or three buses size, right? So much, much smaller, um, uh, and um, and there and not of the same, not not uh, no um, no significant payload, if you will. And lastly, lastly is, is it now the policy of the United States that if unidentified aircraft are over U.S. territory, that it is likely the president will choose to shoot it down? The president will always act in the best interest of our national security and in the safety and security of the American people. 